hate Fantasia. So does my brother. And <laughs> we cannot visualize at all, at all. And again, I had no idea that other people could do this. I had no idea that when we were in yoga class and they were like, you know, shine your sternum. Other people around me were really imagining like light beams coming out of their chest. Like people do this. I've been told. I don't know, but I've been told. And uh, yeah, I have never seen anything that is not physically in front of me or like the insides of my eyeballs, except when I dream actually. So aphantasia, um, that's what that is called. And it tends to go along with S dam. Um, and hyperphantasia, that's the other end of the spectrum. And these are people like my friend Miriam. Anyone in here a hyperfant probably? <laughs> this is where like you can visualize, by the way, I have stickers so you can ask all your friends. <laughs> I have like these little Apple stickers that like show a little, like all the different levels of visualization from like a like a photorealistic apple to an outline of an apple to like a question mark and on the question mark because when people said visualize I'm like I don't know what you're talking about um, but anyway yeah so my friend Miriam who's on the hyperfantasia side can she can redecorate a room like in her mind's eye she could she relives every embarrassing moment from her entire life all the time it sounds awful but she can also like revisit like see f the faces of loved ones who have passed away, and that sounds really awesome. So, you know, there was upsides and downsides. I can't remember any of the embarrassing things I did, except as stories, and at that point, they're just hilarious, right? Like, it's not, I don't feel the emotion.